Stream. So I asked uh, Andrew here on the right uh, if he wanted to show his deck on stream. Uh, the reason for that is actually this is a deck that's been uh, gaining a lot of sort of, you know, it's, it's been a bit of a sleeper, I think, ever since maybe two or three weeks ago. This uh, this fellow named Rebel Trooper, don't know his actual name, he won a store championship uh, somewhere in the States with this deck. Uh, it is a elite Luke Skywalker, so you can see there that's uh, John Starkiller Base's alternate art, Star Luke Skywalker there, uh, paired with a one-dice ray, and his opponent is Daniel with an elite Palpatine. So, uh, Rebel Trooper had done an interview with uh, some fellow, I think you can find the video on YouTube if you look up Rebel Trooper uh, Eluk Ray deck. Uh, it's an hour long discussion about this deck and it talks about his card choices, his, uh, a lot of one ups in his event pile. And yeah, a lot of one ups in his event pile and, and Rebel Trooper mentions that it is a deck that is designed to deal with the meta. Uh, looks like they got started already, so we're just going to go ahead and uh, start a timer. I didn't hear her yell. Yeah, so I think maybe she, she just started around with that sound. Anyway, uh, so the round's underway, but uh, just to finish, uh, the deck is designed to, to beat um, Pomaz and Palpatine and all that stuff, and that's somebody knocking the camera. Let me just fix that. Uh, sorry. Yeah, Victor just went to go and try to get them to stop bumping the camera if he could. Uh, <coughs> but got a ton of damage off of Palpatine. Already five damage sitting on Ray. Ray's got a force speed and a uh, vibrant knife on her, so she's off a good start as well. Rolls in. Not not the greatest roll in the world, but uh, between the ambush and the uh, and. Um, Vibro knife, sorry, and it raise ability. Get to roll in Luke as well. So anyway, just to finish my thought, um, the whole idea is to pile on as much healing and damage mitigation on Luke Skywalker, making uh, Luke effectively a 25 health character. And the whole idea is just to endure whatever the Pomaz or Palpatine decks throw at, at Luke. Yeah. And then, of course, you have. Um, you have a die face, you have die faces that are comparable to Darth Vader, you know, two melee, three melee, uh, an important focus side as well. So that was, that was the reason why I wanted to show this deck on stream, I think it's really cool and uh, of course Palpatine is a deck that isn't really, hasn't been as popular in the meta as the Pomaz decks have been in Toronto. It's been, uh, so. There have been a lot of people who've played it, it just has not been very successful yeah. in Toronto. I think by the time a lot of people had started playing uh, Palpatine, the, a lot of people were ready for it, like, you know, facing against it. So. so we see a focus side on the force speed, turning Luke's die to a three melee. There's an isolation. Uh, but this deck plays the long game. It's not It's not supposed to be a fast handsy, fast type of deck. It's willing to take some mitigation early on because, you know, you are going to... There is There, there are more focus sides on a Luke Ray deck than there are in a Vader Raider deck. So you're going to have more opportunities to to get those uh, melee sides showing. So uh, both players playing at a very fast pace and try to keep up. So you can notice that Andrew's got <laughs> a new map. I just think he bought it a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago. And he's been getting uh, players that he plays against to sign it. So uh, starting, uh, starting to look nice. Looks like a little bit of a spill there on the right hand side, but. That gives a character. Yeah. I'm just, I'm upset my name is covered now. Oh, okay. Which one is there, the green, the red one? I'm, I'm under the discard. Okay, I'm upset that he hasn't asked me to sign it. Have you played him? Uh, maybe not in a tournament, maybe... Yeah. maybe he doesn't have to play, he'll, he'll get you to sign it even if it's not in a tournament, but... Right. Okay, <laughs> hey, here's a roll oh, up. Lots of discard for Ooh. Palpatine. Bam. I'm guessing uh, we got kind of distracted with fixing the camera, but must have got one of those discards off last turn as well. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, I think Andrew's debating on whether to use the overconfidence here. Uh, no, instead of use a force, turn into a blank. I'm guessing, yep. So I think, uh, with Palpatine, yeah, you just... 
generally, it doesn't really matter what face is showing on Palpatine. You just want to kind of resolve it, you know, get that damage somewhere. Uh, so Palpatine's die has to deal two, and then Andrew chooses to put it on Luke, eliminating the shields there. Uh, caution, uh, considered a staple in Qui-Gon Ray decks, also seeing a lot of use here because, you know, uh, sometimes Ray's dice faces don't want to cooperate with you, but it's always a good way to throw some shields on there. So Ray rolls in a force beat, so that's going to give her a chance to roll uh, Luke in next turn and, and use him. Oh, that's the side you want to see. <laughs> Not the re-roll that Andrew is looking for. That's what you want to see. That's a five damage coming from Palpatine off that one die. Yeah. So uh, there is a overconfidence in Andrew's hand. Now, I'm not sure if you can you can still use that card if there's only one die on your opponent's side or if you're forced to also re-roll one of your own. You're forced to re-roll one of your own. Yeah. And you don't really want to roll against... Uh, Palpatine. Right. Okay. So, I, yeah. yeah. So there's the, that use of caution that I mentioned. Uh, I think Palpatine is just going to maybe try to burn down Ray. Yep. Yes. And then I think Andrew's just going to throw two damage onto the loop. Makes sense. So Ray's sitting at two health now. Uh, doing a good job remembering his Luke trigger, which yep. a lot of players yes. yeah. forget. And they, at the beginning of the... Uh, at, when Awakenings came out, a lot of people were forgetting Darth Vader triggers, and now I think it's... You know, Luke's the hard one to remember as well, just because you don't play, people don't play with uh, or against Luke as much as they used to. Um, hopefully that'll change. I mean, because I own Elite Luke Skywalker, and I'm, I've been waiting. <laughs> the, e, the E Luke Akbar deck was, uh, was, was, was a lot bit of, of a fad for a while, but uh, yeah. Yeah. So Andrew did draw another caution. Um, so maybe maybe Andrew's thinking if he could just if he wants to caution away. Oh no, it's not a caution. My bad. They look the the art looks the same. It's actually a high ground. Uh, high ground. Uh, Rebel Trooper has mentioned it's a questionable uh, inclusion in his deck after playing playing with it a bunch of times just because the meta is so fast you can't guarantee that you're going to be able to get it off because you need you need to control the battlefield in order to use it. Yeah. Force speed is nice on Palpatine because it lets you fix your dice and use them before yeah. your opponent can deal with them. Okay. Isolation to take care of the three damage from Luke. So that's both isolations uh, out of out of Daniel's deck now. Yeah. So one of the trouble sessions to play on the battlefield yeah. before Palpatine can yeah heal a damage from Ray there. Now the only the only thing that's going to straight up kill uh, Ray is one of Palpatine's three range sides. But Ray should be able to get use her dice before that happens. Yeah. That's why you you load up everything on Ray uh, because like Vader Raider decks, uh, Luke Skywalker's dice is good enough on its own. Yeah, don't need any modifications. And of course, you want to get that action sheeting off of off of Ray. Force solution. Okay, that's going to delay the inevitable a little bit. That's really that's also protection insurance against uh, you know a no mercy roll as well. Yeah. Uh, all right. Focus, shield, and one resource side by Palpatine. So not as aggressive as he would like. Of course, generally you want to uh, you want to, to keep whatever you roll with Palpatine, just resolve them as fast as you can. I'm not sure if Daniel drew a rise again, but that could be a useful application of the five resources he he might be getting in a second here. So here's a rollout by Andrew. So damage, discard, shield. We've got a smorgasbord of options here. Yep. Two shields on Palpatine. Two damage probably going to Luke Skywalker. Yep. And uh, now I think it's the caution yeah. on Luke. Well, no, it, that is a high ground, not a caution. Oh, okay. uh, so he can use it because uh, he does control the battlefield. You know, maybe it's just something you just snap off. No, instead uh, uses the rejuvenate. Maybe he's saving it for a later turn where he can deal one damage. Doubt to reroll the uh, reroll the viber knife die. Just get it off the table. Of course. Now the all the melee damage is going to be blockable because of uh, Viber Knife no longer being in the in the pool. 
Uh, yeah, Alexis. I think uh, I think if if he decides to roll, if Daniel decides to resolve that resource die, I think that's definitely going to be uh, rise again showing up. Uh, now, Travis, did you see uh, if Daniel discarded any ab sorry blue ability upgrades? Uh, I haven't, no, I haven't noticed. No? Okay, so he might have to wait until until he does that first. <laughs> Roll from Luke. Uh, we'll have to remember to draw a card off that roll. Nope. Missed hey, it looks like we spoke to soon. Yeah. About the it seemed like he was doing so well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Force Lightning would be huge. I, I don't know how many copies of Deflect Andrew is running in his, in his deck. Uh, have you had a chance to play Palpatine deck yet? With it or against it? With it. Not with it. I played a tons of games against it. Uh, but as soon as I got my second Palpatine die, someone wanted to borrow it. So there's a manipulate turning uh, his force speed to a blank to, to make sure that... I don't know if that's worth it. Force speed? Yeah, I don't think so. I think it's better off maybe, I don't know, passing, claiming. <coughs> so... Just, so I was uh, I was wrong again. Actually, it wasn't a high ground. It was a uh, heroism. That's the that card he discard. All the art looks the same. It's like a bunch of like fire and explosions and stuff <laughs> in the background. It's a hollow card out on. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't play it earlier. There's nothing to let him draw. I'm surprised he didn't play that earlier. Earlier. The heroism? No, the Holocron. Oh, sorry. Uh, so generally, so uh, we were talking earlier of whether you play Palpatine. The one one time play Palpatine was at the Star Championships at X Planet, and it, generally you don't, you're not really looking to uh, activate and roll out the Holocron die in the same turn you play it, because your priority is to activate Palpatine and resolve those dice right away. You don't want to waste any time playing stuff beforehand. So uh, you, you generally, when you play Holocron, you're trying to do it for the turn after. Yeah, just the the Holocron. There's, there's the uh, <laughs> rise again. Yep. So let's see if um, he actually did discard. The Holocron does have the focus size, and with the force speed, it does give you an option to force speed the focus into yep. one of the better sides with. All right. So now he, he did play the. So there was a force lightning. Wow. Okay. There was a force lightning in the discard pile. Now it's on Palpatine. Wait, you didn't you didn't trust Alexis for calling that right? Well, I had asked you, Travis. Remember? Uh, I didn't know, <laughs> but our chat knows better than we yes. do. So yeah. Well, they don't have to talk at much at the same time. Not, not to say our chat isn't wonderful, which they are. Um, but, uh, so, yeah, we went on to the next turn. Uh, and here is... Ugh. Yeah, this is Force Lightning not uh, not cooperating. However, there is a Force Speed and a Holocron Special and a 3 range side from Palpatine. So yeah, I think not, it's just a Force Speed bad. into both of yeah. Palpatine's dice. I mean, you could do Force Speed into reroll the Force Lightning die and then resolve more, both uh, Palpatine's range and uh, and a Lightning. No, because I don't think you mind hitting the discard. Oh, Savage. Force Misdirection. Great play. Now, Force mi Misdirection is one of those cards... Um, you know, it's sort of feast or famine, kind of like uh, feel your anger. But man, when you get off something like that, it feels good. It, it's great, but I mean, those di the Palpatine dice are still there. They're no, still but, but now he he doesn't have like he doesn't I don't have know the action like, force ability in his hand. Yeah, now, but yeah. Now the the, the, uh, the Holocron could have been something, but. Yeah, Alexis. I think it's uh, it's it's almost criminally underplayed. I think I think it just needed like mono blue heroes needed to become good again uh, before we saw a resurgence of force misdirection. So what was that? Oh, that was the force illusion triggering off yes. uh, Palpatine's three range there. And now I <coughs> now he just split his damage, but I don't think you can do that. Yes, I, you you assign the you dice. Divide, can you divide, divide it any way you want? Really? Okay. Maybe I'm thinking of some other card. Maybe planetary. Uh, yeah. Uprising. Yeah. You don't choose the character. You choose to divide. Right. So, resolves the four speed. Where do you get the second action from? I, I do not know, actually. Yeah. Okay, just uh, Daniel making sure that the board remains somewhat legible. Uh, 
uh, not just for hit benefit, yeah. but for ours too. <laughs> uh, so I think uh, didn't like seeing that deflect get discarded for the fourth illusion. But. <laughs> oh, okay, Mesh. Uh, so what, what, what is the one I'm thinking of? You can't just do no, whatever. Might be Akbar. Akbar. Maybe Akbar is the one you can't destroy. So that's my ally is the Force, uh, which allows him to resolve a, one of his dice without having to remove from the pool, and then goes ahead and uses the basically the three melee twice because of that. Uh, so that was a total of eight damage. No, sorry, yeah, eight damage, eight damage yeah, on, 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 on unblockable as well. So the special on Force Lightning got rolled there, which is oh. deal one damage. To it was nice enough to remind you of what uh, Force Lightning does, because yep. it might affect his play. Yep. So you, you can deal one damage, and then you remove a blank to reroll the Force Lightning die, and it doesn't have to be one of your own. Yeah, it's possible that Vic Victor was thinking of Akbar. So, um, so it's not in a yep. bad spot here. Nine damage, having already burned through one of the ri rise agains. I mean, we haven't seen any four solutions, but so I still think uh, it, it it might be. Uh, oh, that that yeah. is. I mean, I was gonna say it, it it could go either way, but wow, huge. Oh, there's the other deflect. Yeah. But I, I remember, as I said oh. before, the, the whole that's point a, that's of a the seven, that's a seven damage swing, right? Yeah. Uh, remember what I said before, though. The, the whole point of this Rebel Troopers uh, E. Luke Ray deck is that you just put all the damage mitigation on Ray, like Luke Skywalker. You know, I I know uh, I think uh, he still has one more caution in his deck. Uh, I think there is. Now the cautions have both been used. No, was it wasn't it one caution and one uh, heroism or something? No, he used caution just on Ray just now. Uh, okay. That's where that, and that's how he also got rid of the blank, so that he couldn't use a special from uh, Force Lightning. Yeah, but but yeah, there's there's a lot of damage mitigation in this deck. So um, yeah, Alexis, you rolled uh, turn one, you rolled two times three damage. That's how you get hooked, though. Yeah. And then you spend you spend the rest <laughs> rest of your time trying to chase that same first roll, and then you never get yeah. it. Yeah. So I mean, with all of the discards that uh, Daniel's hit. Uh, Andrew's deck is getting pretty thin. Of course, two turns should be enough to get the rest of the damage he needs on Palpatine. Yep. Uh, unless he plays another Rise again, of course. He needs to get the resource first, so that's going to be tough. Well, he's one resource away. Um, maybe he also gets a Force Illusion, which will yep. be a, a pretty big help. Okay. So that's just Override Survivor yep. deck has two actions to spend. First action is rolling out Ray. I think he was hoping for a four speed special there. Now second action. Do you do you roll out Luke? I see a guard in Andrew's hand, so it's, it's possible that you just try to see if you can get at least a two melee side. You, well, you might as well get the guard while you have your guard, yeah. The Return of the Jedi, returning deflect. Ooh, smart play too. There's a Especially with that force lightning there, it's, it's a potential to uh, to make that work, make that count. Yeah, I'm really liking a lot of Andrew's decisions here. You know, except for missing his uh, loot triggers. Well, I mean, <laughs> maybe he doesn't want to use it. Well, no, I think you still use it because yeah. there's one more card left in your deck. But oh, wow, interesting. So he just Is did a enrage uh, there. Yeah. So he's got. Uh, I think it's a rise again. It has to be. It has to be a rise again. Yeah. I don't know if he has any great abilities in his discard. Uh, and yeah, he, another if, force. Uh, I don't think he, I don't know if he discarded his force. He maybe. No, never mind. That does look like a force later. Mm -hmm. Underneath, because he had in his hand, and he was trying to decide whether to discard it last turn. Now, a lot of Force Lightning sides require you to pay one resource to use them. So, hey, he's not going to have any resources if he does indeed play a Rise Again. So, there. Andrew remembers to draw his card off Luke. Uh, rolls nothing. <laughs> nothing of consequence. And there's the Rise Again that we suspected was in Daniel's hand. Uh, and now you have Lightning coming out of both of Emperor's hands. So, now we have Return of the Jedi Emperor Palpatine. 
Unless he's a force solution that he's considering a pullback. Which he does. Force solution. I, that's smart. Okay. Yeah. I would not buy that. <laughs> yeah, I guess at this point, like putting another force lightning is just overkill, right? There's only so much money you can spend. Uh, there's a discard to reroll. It finally gets the force speed. Um, yep. Special. And focus, which is going to be useful for changing that uh, blank Luke die so into yeah. he didn't keep his he did a really good thing here he didn't actually keep his dice distinct yeah. so with the two force speeds he gave his opponent the opportunity of deciding which way he wanted to allocate them there's a doubt uh, getting rid of the unblockable damage potential the fiber knife so he has to get uh, yep picks a rejuvenate useful card but not that exciting So here's a premonition reroll. Andrew now down to three cards in his hand. So uh, yeah, so he didn't, know, he, did, yeah. he didn't mean to take the focus off the force right. speed. So he, now uh, Andrew is in danger of just getting milled out by Palpatine's discard side. So he has to be careful about that. Okay, so now there's two more actions. So he. Yeah, so four speed, first action, reroll, second action, four speed, first action, and then second action, and that just triggers the force illusion there. I don't think that was a good play by Andrew. Like well, he, he, he should have just he accidentally rerolled the force speed. Oh, okay. They would've, he would have had another focus to spend there. No, but I think what Andrew should have done was focus to the three melee and just left it there. Because he, he, uh, Palpatine, Daniel, Daniel doesn't have any more isolations. And I think he used the second doubt in that uh, in that instance as well. And now, see, there's that two discard side I was talking about. Andrew only has he's probably only going to have one card after this. I, I think uh, Andrew is realizing that he really needed to maximize his yeah. damage to this turn. Yeah. So there's a discard, and Daniel just quick to snap off that other discard. And there's the guard. There's a one with the force. And now Andrew is basically just going to have to rely on the luck of his rolls from this point forward. <coughs> of course, is the game going to last that long is no. the question. Well, I mean, uh, Ray dies here. Yeah, it's it's hard to see because he moved the damage off the bottom. Oh, of the no, camera, she heals one, so she, yeah. two is not enough to kill her anymore. But, yep, uh, I think at, at this point, Daniel, it doesn't matter, really. Because uh, you know Daniel doesn't really have to worry about any tricks from from Andrew anymore. Doesn't have to really worry about any reroll shenanigans. Uh, I think he's just going to take it slow and steady from this point out. It's one health left on Ray. Yep. And yeah, you you kill off Ray, and this game becomes a lot um, easier. I, I, I think he missed when he took the two shields. I think he may have missed um, doing the two damage. Right. I'm not going to worry about it too much because I don't think it's going to affect the outcome of no. the game and it's the player's responsibility for making sure these things are happening. Uh, Tries to get something out of Ray before... Well, oh, okay. Yeah, couldn't get much better there. Overconfidence is going to just those lands. Yeah, just, just get rid of them. Oh, so the the vibro knife is still in play. Uh, it removes that ray die. And here comes the Luke activation again. And just got to rely on the luck of the roll here, and that <laughs> it's yeah. not the luck of the roll. Well, I mean, he got one focus at least. So that's sure, at least but having three this, unblockable damage. But having there. to use one of the <coughs> Luke dice for damage is it's rough. <laughs> yeah, he has. Uh, He's going to have to focus the three damage and then just hope he lives this turn um, and then just roll out again, I think. So there's a discard. I That's think, an uh, interesting choice. Yeah, Daniel's, Daniel's... I guess he figures just give him less, less tools. Yeah. Ooh, man. Brutal. Yeah, just got rid of, get rid of the uh, Luke dice. So fill your anger, count the number of <laughs> blank sides, remove that many dice. Yeah, so oh. Andrew's trying to concede here, it looks like. <laughs> Maybe Daniel's trying to convince him. Yeah, yeah, you still have a trance. I mean, I could just, I could whiff on my stuff too. Yeah. 
So now, now it's the negotiations. Yeah, <laughs> trying to Daniel maybe trying to convince uh, Andrew to, to play it out. Uh, so yeah, he just yeah. claimed field for damage. Uh, okay. Yep. And is there a discard side? No, but that's quite a bit of damage coming in. So that's nine damage. Yeah. Which Lee would leave? So, yeah, you you kill off right here. Which leaves only three health on Luke. Yeah. So either way, I don't think it matters. So yeah. I don't think I don't even know if you kill off. You just put all the damage, maximize your damage. Yeah. yeah. I I don't know that I agree, Michael. Uh, at that point, with one card in your deck, I I'm not going to blame anyone for conceding. Yeah, it's it's obviously better for the viewers, right? But I'm not. I don't really like forcing people to play it out just just so that we can watch uh, someone slowly die on cam. But lucky for us, we get to see the the uh, quote unquote natural conclusion of this match. And uh, at this point, as long as Palpatine doesn't roll any blanks, uh, I don't think there's much Andrew can do. But I think there's. Uh, what, what is the last card in Andrew's hand? I don't know. There's that focus. Okay. Is this more mitigation from Daniel? Yep. Feel your anger. Carrying in the focus. Let me just give it to you. And Force Lightning. Yeah. And he gets to reroll that too. How I think Andrew's like, yeah, please, just let me concede. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't like when someone convinces yeah. someone not to concede. And yeah. No, I mean we can't hear anything that's going on the table, right? It could just be Andrew's like, yeah, yeah, I'll play it. Whatever. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, See, like, why do that? Just claim one of your yeah. claim one of your Palpatine dice, yeah. and the game's over, right? right. But uh, that's it, though. So, so that's like, the conclusion yeah. of that game. Tell, telling someone to play it out, and then. Taking unnecessary actions to finish, it, I'm not a fan. I don't know. I feel like that's in Palpatine's character, though. You know, kind of gloat over his victory. Sure. So who knows? Maybe he's just, he's like, this is the alternate ending to the Return of the Jedi, you know? Yeah, Vader wasn't around, so. 